yards. Mr. Fertilome is here. Bill Sprout, regional sales manager with Fertilome. Good morning, Bill. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. All right. So I got uh, I got three inches where I'm at. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, w- uh, over the weekend, I'm starting to notice um, I've gotten to get some uh, weeds are sprouting up. As you mentioned, you said to me Absolutely. around the um, around the foundation of the house. Yep. And I was worried. Do I put the fertilome on now? Later? What am I doing now with this snow? Give us give us some helpful hints. Well, you know, again, the temperature's kind of gone back down. Uh, so you probably best thing for you to wait is wait till we're up till we get a little more of a warming trend again, uh, and, and apply something at that point uh, because it's just too cold right now. Uh, there are some products out there though uh, that can work in cooler temperatures. Uh, that we do have, but it's right now with the 32 degrees, it's just, it's not possible. Okay, so hold off till later in the week when it gets a little warmer and then put it down or or even wait even longer than that. Yeah, probably a couple weeks. It just depends on what happens. We can't we can't read that crystal ball of what the temperature is going to do yet. Have you seen what the future is bringing here this week, <laughs> Bill? That's enough out of you. Now, all right. So, <laughs> so when it warms up a little bit, because I have looked into the crystal ball and it's going to be 70s by the weekend. Uh, really? Yes. Wow. And so I'm a little worried uh, that I'm going to miss my window and sort of have weeds all summer. So when I'm ready to put it down, what fertilone mm-hmm. product do I want to put down first this spring? Well. Uh, again, you're going after weeds only. That's the only thing you're going after. Well, you can do that. weeds in my grass, yeah. Okay, and you, okay, in your grass, right. Yeah. Uh, the, the, pro- the product we have that can be put down in a cooler temperatures like this is a product called weed-free zone. Uh, weed-free zone can be put down as low as in the 40s uh, and as high as around 85. Mm-hmm. So you've got options there uh, because what it does – it has a special surfactant in there that helps to eat the waxy surface off the hard to kill plant. So that's what makes it uh, superior to other brands so out this, there in the market. This weed free zone I can spray on my lawn won't kill my grass, will kill my weeds. Nope. Right. Okay. And it kills a lot of a lot of broadleafs. Now the thing of it is, it ha- the one caveat here is it has to be actively growing. Got it. Uh, so okay. I mean that's, you know, I mean, you can't throw it on a, a dormant weed. It has to be an actively grown weed. So okay. that's kind of why I'm thinking maybe maybe by the weekend or maybe even the next 10 days, you might have a, the window might be better. But, again, it just depends. Okay. 70 degrees is 70 degrees. All right. Now, I want to feed my lawn for a nice, active, um, pre-emergent and put some fertilizer down so that I have the greenest lawn on the, the block, Bill, from Fertilum. Yep. What, do I, yep. what do I go to Ann's Greenhouse and get to start off the, the season right? Well, again, there's another product we sell called uh, it's, it's called a crabgrass preventer plus lawn fertilizer containing this magic product called Dimension. Aha. Dimension, and uh, it's a it's pretty it's pretty it's what it's a neat chemistry um, was used primarily with, from, from, from the professional the commercial market had it for many years and it's kind of been put into um, you know into a retail bag now over the last four or five years and uh you can put it down early you can put it down late it kills crabgrass up after, it can be post-emerge crabgrass and actually it will kill crabgrass post-emerge which is kind of cool uh back in the day you had to put it down at the right time to hit it now you just windows become you know you can put it down early and you can put it down late so you just you just don't miss crabgrass anymore if all you right use product that that's good prevention. to know can i use the crabgrass prevention and fertilizer from fertilome in conjunction with the weed free zone i would not <clears throat> i would apply it water it in or make sure it gets watered in and then apply after that uh yeah i would probably myself the probably the bigger to me, the bigger one, you know, it, it, it depends on your yard. Really, it's, it's yard by yard on that one. Which one's, what, what problem do you have worse? Got it. Uh, the crabgrass or the, you want to do one at a time because those just aren't combination products. Okay, so if I put in cr- crabgrass prevention and fertilizer, how long should I wait to use the weed-free zone? A week? I, you really, the secret to that is making sure that the crabgrass, the granule crabgrass spinner gets watered in. And typically within within probably seventy two hours, oh, okay. I wait three days. Okay, yeah. good. All right, good. All right, good. That is good. All right, and uh, let me ask you this question: Fertilome with um, dimension, right? Fertilome with dimension. Yes. Where yes. would I find Bill Sprout from Fertilome? Where would I find the Fertilome dealer near me? 
Well, fertilome.com, of course, and throw in your uh, throw in your zip code there, and it gives you all the dealers in your zip code area, and then you can migrate out to 20 miles or 5 miles or 10 miles. or Will And I, yes. fertilome.com. Fertilome.com. Uh, where would I find Fertilome in the big box stores? No, sir. We are strictly for independently owned garden centers. No boxes. (laughs) Bill Sprout, regional manager with Fertilome. No boxes. Fertilome.com. Bill, thanks for the insight. We'll talk to you soon. All right. We'll talk to you. You got it. There you go. You got your info. I got my info. Um, You want to get it down. Crabgrass prevention and fertilizer with Fertilome. I'm headed over to Ann's Greenhouse today.